on my many trips uh, coming into uh, Bangkok's Suvarnabhumi International Airport, on the final approach coming coming into the airport, we pass over a canal that has always intrigued me because it runs all the way off into the distance down into the Bangkok metropolitan area. So I've always had kind of a curiosity about it. And I discovered that it indeed does run into the center of Bangkok, into the Chow Phraya River, and it connects with the Prakanon Canal, which is a very storied waterway dating back well over a hundred years, and it has, and it's haunted. It has a ghost that lives on it, the ghost of Maynak, a story I've told more than once here on the video channel, but it is one of Thailand's most famous ghost stories in a land with a lot of ghost stories. <laughs> so, I just had a curiosity about this waterway, and I, I thought I would uh, look into it a little bit, maybe make a video about it. These really interesting looking long tail boats used to uh, run up and down the whole length of this canal, carrying goods and people. Now they're used for uh, occasionally tourist trips. I asked this guy if I could hire him and his boat to take me where I wanted to go up the canal, and nope, can't do that. He's uh, using it as a tugboat, basically. He, he's using this boat to uh, pull that barge carrying concrete pilings for that construction site over there. I guess they're shoring up the edges of the canal. Prior to World War II, Bangkok did not have many motor vehicles. These canals were the uh, commercial transit systems of the, uh, of the region. And while that's no longer true of the canals, they're more of a curiosity than anything else, this marketplace that I'm walking into now, as you can see, is mere steps away from the canal, at one time received its goods from boats coming coming up from the Chow Phraya River and, and coming up from the and coming down from the provinces. So if you want to shop like a local, this is the kind of place that you want to go to. Prakanon Market off of the Prakanon Canal. Again, just mere steps from uh, from the BTS rail system and Sukhumvit Road. All manner of goods and, and, and produce here at local prices, which is a lot less than you're gonna pay in the uh, Western style markets. It's a busy place. Pointed that I couldn't hire a boat to take me up to the Pakanong Canal, up to Huataket, the market where I'm, I'm headed to. But as I, I was looking at a map, I realized that there was uh, the state railway of Thailand ran parallel to the canal. So I came and purchased a ticket to Huataket. It cost about five cents for a ticket. It's air-conditioned in the old-fashioned way. Nice big open windows. I'm here with my friend Nicholas. We're sitting around talking about philosophical stuff as we travel. I guess we're going south to, uh, to the uh, outer reaches of Bangkok. Actually, we're leaving Bangkok into uh, might be some Khan province, for those of you who care about that kind of stuff. But well, yeah, we're up to the Huatake Market on uh, the State Railway of Thailand. plan with this trip, this video making adventure, 
was to come to Huatake along the canal that, uh, that I spoke about earlier. And that was pretty much the end of my plan. I didn't have anything in my mind or, or, or planned for this, uh, for this video or this trip. Um, you know, so I'm at the I don't know part. So I just, we just arrived in Huatake and we're walking along this uh, inlet off the canal. And what's striking about it so far is the quiet. One of the things about, well, all big cities, but Bangkok especially, is the incessant noise. It's just never quiet anywhere ever. <laughs> and I mean, I'm, I'm a New Yorker and that's a pretty noisy city as well. But, uh, you know, Bangkok is up there with the best of them in terms of noisy cities. And to suddenly be not that far out of the city, we're just adjacent to the airport here. The quiet is just delicious. So Nicholas, you and I like to uh, kind of joke about how um, Bangkok is like Paris of the 1920s and 30s for its artistic potential. Well, you know, here's the insight that I just had. You and I have to make that happen. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's, it's a responsibility. That, exactly. You, know, it's like, you just happen to be in Paris in the 90s, 20s, and just, just by pure luck, you have to you have to sweat to make it happen. So, yeah, yeah. conversation is the way. Writing another one. And, uh, How about videos? Talent, probably. And videos, yeah. <laughs> Photographs, yeah. So, All the fine arts. So that's it. Move over. Uh, the ghost of Ernest Hemingway. Move over. And as a pound and uh, James Joyce, of course. Okay. As a pound. There's a popular guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's popular out to me. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> well, what do we have to work with to make, uh, make Bangkok the new Paris? We have pretty girls. That helps. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that first, but okay. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Well, actually, my last video was about how that kind of thinking has often gotten me in trouble. The production, the making of this video has been difficult for me because I had this canal inspire me to take a little bit of a trip. But you know, how can you make a interesting and entertaining video about a waterway? I had to figure out something to do in this video that would make it more purposeful. And Nicholas and I discovered this little uh, enclave, this neighborhood, this village on a swamp, basically. And what I've decided to turn this, uh, this video into is a restaurant review. This is the general store along the main walkway here, the Broadway of the swamp village. I guess if you need uh, general goods, this is where you're going to come to get it. And back out into the bright light. Hope the camera adjusts. We have uh, the very green swamp. I can only imagine the level of mosquitoes here. <laughs> so what the cop? So yes, we've turned this video into a restaurant review. We found this little uh, waterfront uh, place. <laughs> it's, uh, that, um, Nicholas is getting pad thai. I'm getting uh, what's often called holy basil pork. Or proper bowl in thai. So here's uh, the local masterpiece uh, called proper mu, which means uh, it's basically chopped pork uh, with basil and uh, and rice and I asked for spicy just a little bit but I should have said not spicy not at all there's a lot of peppers in there but we'll, we'll manage and and a fried egg uh, now what's different about this than the uh, thank you a yeah, little, little little bit of soup and what's different about this than the uh move that I get in Bangkok is this is in chopped pork. They give me actual little pieces of, of uh, barbecued pork here that look really good. And um, here's the key to eating this particular meal is 
this stuff. This is uh, this this stuff is the bomb. And I guess what so <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> what celebrities? Very, very some of these red peppers. If you don't like spices, when you order anything in Thailand, you have to say my pet. <laughs> that means not spicy. Because if you say a little bit spicy, you get a lot spicy. If you say very spicy, you will meet God. But yeah, let's give it a try. Oh. Oh. Better than anything Anthony Bourdain ever did. I don't know if that's true, but it is really good. And Nicholas has elected to something a little bit more familiar to the Western palate, a little bit of pot thai with uh, with shrimp or uh, gung, as they're called here in Thailand, pot thai gung. Bye-bye. Right. So we say goodbye to the... Uh, Swampside restaurant where we had uh, two decent Thai dishes. I like mine, the, uh, uh, the pork fry, fried pork with the uh, holy basil or krapamu was excellent. Nicholas didn't love his pad thai, but he ate it. <laughs> the, uh, the total bill came to 110 baht, which is about $3. You'd pay that for for Coke, where you live. Ah, I hear a bunch of juveniles yelling. They're praying is what they're doing. Just like a public school back in New York. <laughs> a whole different way of life here, isn't it? So yeah, I think that's what this video turned into. This turned into a, uh, a walk in the swamp by the, uh, by the old canal and a lunch review. Uh, the spirit of Anthony Bourdain having lunch alongside a swamp. It's kind of a pleasant afternoon after all. So yeah, again, if you're looking to get our, I don't know what this is called. Maybe I'll find it on a map and put a link to it down in the description. But yeah, take, uh, take the state railway from the Hualong Pong Terminal to uh, Huatake and get off and walk toward the canal. You'll see this little uh, swamp like area and just uh, follow this little concrete pathway into it and go have lunch. Be careful of the motorbikes. I tell you, one wrong turn would get him in big trouble, wouldn't it? Here's another uh, culinary uh, adventure. I don't know what that sign says, but it's uh, 10, 15, and 20 baht. It isn't very expensive. <laughs> it's sad to see this old lifestyle, you know, slowly disappearing. I mean, in the eight years I've been in Bangkok, a lot of it has disappeared. And, you know, here's its replacement. <laughs> I don't want to knock it too much. I like modern architecture as well. And, you know, you can't hold on to the old stuff forever. The world is a transient place. But here we are back at the canal. The extension of the Prakanon Canal up by Huatake. And I think it's time to head back to Bangkok.